Hey everybody, how you doing? AmpReparGuy.com here, 203-892-4119. We have a Kenwood TL922 A amplifier here. Customer purchased it off of eBay, had it shipped directly here. I'm going to go ahead and do all the modifications and clean the rotary switches, check the SO239s, and I'll go over everything I did once it's all completed. Nice and clean here, very clean. I don't see any issues. So I'm going to replace the chokes, rip all that out, ground the grids, change the cap. I'll, I'll go over everything I, I do once it's all completed. I'll be back. I am back with the completed amplifier. So went ahead and did all the modifications series glitch resistor 10 ohm 10 watt series with the B positive I put a diode across the B negative rail to ground to protect the plate current meter I had to change all of the meter lamps and the standby operate lamps I've never seen one with all of them out so I went ahead and changed all those reused the stock boots the strap in so I had an issue when I went to try to key it it only stay on standby when I go back and forth wouldn't go to on air so come to find out the relay in the back was stuck it wouldn't engage something must have gotten caught up in it during shipping Our variables look nice and clean no issues there yeah, I'll go ahead and flip it over I'll be right back okay so I changed the electrolytic grounded the grids to the self bias modification Shorten the inductance path between the plane tune cap and the tube grids. Clean the input and output rotary switches with deoxid gold. And uh, this thing's good to go. Check the SO239 connectors, no issues there. It wants me to wire it up for 240. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier repaired, I only work on tube type commercial ham radio amplifiers. Ameritrons, Amp Supply, stuff like that. Anything you see in my videos, I'll work on. You can be reached at 203-892-4119. My website's amprepairguy.com. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.